I'm Rick Johansson, and this is the Iron Echo Design Channel. Today, we're gonna work on removing the background out of an image using Inkscape. And there's two methods we're gonna use, the quick and simple way using a built-in tool, and then the more traditional way. So let's start with, this is the Aston Martin logo. You can tell here, it's a, there's a white background. And let's say you just wanna remove the white background so it's transparent. There's a tool for that. Make sure it's selected. Go to Path, Trace Bitmap and this will pull up a menu. So there's a lot going on here, but single scan, brightness cutoff, and then 0.45, that might even be the default. That will be pretty close because just for black and white, watch what happens. Click update, and it gives you a little preview. So push okay. And if you pull it out, let's see which is which, let's zoom in. The top one is actually, that is the original because you can see it pixelates a little bit. And the bottom one is the new vector we made. And you made that in like one second. Let's close out. Let's say it's a little bit more complicated than just black and white. For the next example, we'll go with a simple color logo like FedEx here. See the white background? Same tool though. So make sure it's selected. Choose Path, Trace Bitmap. And in this case, we'll choose Multiple Scans Colors. And I think the default is 8. I have it set to 4. Smooth, Stack remove background, click all those, update, and then okay. And you've got yourself your FedEx vector. But in some cases, you know, the, the simple stuff is easy for trace bitmap. I also like to use it sometimes for photographs if it's still like an easy, non-complicated part. Like this is the asset I want. I want this lifeguard tower. So I'm gonna make sure it's selected. Go back to the same old tool, trace bitmap and it's all messed up. So in this case, I can't use the colors if I just want this silhouette. I'll go back to single scan, brightness cutoff, and 0.25, I preset this before the video. So that it, I think it's normally 0.45, but 0.25 update, and that's what I want. And you'll wanna play with it based on the photograph that you're using. If you wanna try this actual one, I'll put it in the description. Click okay, and now I have a vector of a lifeguard tower that I wanted. To make this complete, I, I have to clip out this, this nonsense on the bottom and the side. So there is a way to do that. You wanna choose the Bezier tool, and then if you hold uh, control, you can make straight lines. Just, I'm gonna take out, there, I, I selected the part that I want. Choose the selection tool, shift, hold the rest of the part that you don't want. And you want to go to path, sorry, object, clip, set. That's like a different tutorial, but you need that. So that way you can actually take a photograph that we had over here, get, get this out of here. You can remove the background and you're left with the vector that you can use for your projects. And that's with the trace, that's the first way, that's the easy way with trace bitmap. But what if you have a more complicated image? In this case, we've got this elephant with a very busy background. You can still do it with Inkscape and we'll try the Bezier pen. The default setting are these uh, three squares. You wanna choose the one that has the right angle and the curve. And you can go as fast or as slow as you want. You know, trace the perimeter of this pachyderm. And actually I wanna change the line so you can see it a little, little bit better. You can also take breaks there. So you can, you can come back to the line you were building. So let's go to stroke. We'll choose like an orange, actually we'll do like a green, and we'll make it a little bit wider. So you don't have to do this part, but if it helps you to see your perimeter, you definitely can. Zoom in, and if you hover over the last node, it'll turn red, you can continue. And through the magic of editing, I'm gonna make it all the way around to the other side. Actually, I wanna pause here for two quick Bezier pen tips. When you take a break, or if you zoom out or you click off, and you try to continue, but then your line, it's not connected to your original trace. You need them to connect. Don't worry about it. Just delete that new one. Just make sure you keep the line that you're tracing the perimeter with selected. If, it, if you select off of it, the program thinks you're making a new line. So go make sure it's selected. Then choose your Bezier pen. You can even zoom in, hover to make it red, and then you can keep going. And the second tip is, on the setting we have, it, it kind of like default to making a little bit of a curve, which is really helpful. But if you do want to make a hard angle, just hold shift and then it'll start making straight lines. It's all up to you. 
Actually, one more tip about the Bezier pen while you're doing your trace. If you make a mistake, like on the ear here of the elephant, I, I messed up, I just got distracted. You can go to Edit Paths by Node and then pull that node back in. It's very forgiving. Okay, we're coming up on the very end of the trace. And then just connect the two dots at the end. We'll zoom out and we have a, a rough perimeter. We could have done a little bit nicer, but then to actually take the background out, the whole point of this video, you've selected your trace, choose the selection tool, then shift, choose the background, and you're gonna to go to object clip set and you've got your elephant. You can do all sorts of stuff with them now. You can put them on a nice fancy white background, like he's the subject of, a, of a, some type of campaign. You can put him in New York City. You can do anything you want with your elephant now that you pull the background out. You can just have a nice elephant and that's it. So you got trace bitmap or your tra <laughs> trace bitmap or trace it yourself. Thanks. <laughs>